In this video, I'll show you how to set up a USB hub for your Mac Mini M4. Now, not all USB hubs are identical. This is a Thunderbolt hub, while this is simply a normal USB Type-C USB hub. You also have these more basic ones. I don't really recommend these since they are not even USB Type-2 and they're using a USB Type-A connector while the Mac Mini only uses USB Type-C like you see over here. And you need to be careful when you select your dock. Some of them have a HDMI port and you think, great, I can plug another external monitor to my Mac Mini M4 that only has one HDMI. Well, it's true, but many of them, especially the cheap ones like this one, only accepts a monitor connected with 30 Hertz. Which means, that, which means that if you intend to use that Mac Mini to game or even video edit, it won't be enough. You need at least 60 Hertz. Most monitors these days are 60 Hertz or even more, especially if you game. So these cheap USB hubs, although they have a HDMI port, won't be enough. I always recommend Thunderbolt hubs which although they are more expensive can actually process a lot more data for example this one i'll put a link in the description i think it's still on sale i don't know you'll be able to connect two 4k monitors at 60 hertz or one 8k screen it does not have any hdmi port but in the box it came with this adapter it's a usb type c to hdmi so you can connect your monitor anywhere here like that and uh, this is how you get your H uh, your HDMI port and uh, since it's Thunderbolt it also means that these USB type C ports well you can connect hard drives and you'll be able to transfer data much quicker at a much quicker rate than these cheap ones this USB port over here it's rated at 10 gigabytes per second which is quite fast some of these hubs will require power to make them run. This one over here, you need to connect a power cable that is included in the box. It's a power brick. So it's a bit less portable, but since the Mac mini is not really a MacBook or a laptop, it won't go anywhere. So it's not that of bad of a deal. But for today, let's just take this one to illustrate what I want to show you. So when you want to set up your dock, you simply need to to connect it to your Mac mini and depending what you want to do with it go ahead and connect the different devices to it this one over here has a SD card reader as well which is quite handy and you plug this instead now let's go on the screen of the Mac mini to have access to the different drives you have connected to your dock you will need to go in finder this icon over here click on it then you see on the left side you should see lo under location all your usb drives that you have connected you may have many of them not only two obviously if you have connected sd cards they will appear here as well and you can click on them and have access to what's on them if you want to format a drive that is attached to your usb hub you will need to go on the top right corner click on the magnifying glass and type disk utility. Select disk utility. And then from here, you're gonna select on the left side, which drive you like to format. Let's say this one. Go over here on the top and select erase. Then you'll be able to rename this drive. Um, so when it's done formatting, it will have a new name or you can keep the same and then select in which format you'd like it to be. When you're ready, press erase. It will take about five seconds, maybe even more if it's a big drive and you'll be good to go. When you're done using any drive connected to your USB hub, you need to eject it before removing it physically. So over here, let's say I'm done working with this Lexar drive. I'm gonna press this button over here on the, on the right side of the name. Mm -hmm. Wait a few seconds, it will disappear. And only after that, you'll be able to remove it. So this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.